Time to play with some clay. Well, I was going to get to work on my uh, bust here today, but I've decided to uh, give uh, my monster clay another try. I, I'd i been looking for it. I put it in a box and I put it away someplace and I couldn't remember where the heck I put it. But I finally figured it out and uh, found it today. And so I'm going to try something with that and put this aside again and uh, revisit my monster clay. All right, well, I got uh, the basic armature set up, as you can see. I'm going to come back tomorrow because i got to let this glue dry. And uh, I've got this whole box of uh, monster clay that I need to get softened up. And uh, I got the figure that I started before that I didn't like. And I'm going to... Um, take the clay off the uh, armature. It needs to be softened before I can do that. And uh, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. I got this wonderful uh, wire art for armatures. It's bonsai wire. It's a type of uh, wire. I don't know what it's made of. I don't know if it's, co it can't be copper. It's not that expensive. It could be aluminum. I have, have no clue what uh, this stuff is made of. But it's very uh, easy to bend. And it makes a great armature uh, material. And I got this uh, a couple of rolls off of uh, Amazon. And uh, you can look up bonsai wire. And uh, you can get yourself some. It comes in quite a bit of... Uh, Quite a nice roll of uh, of uh, wire. I've got two of them, and so I'm gonna use this tomorrow to uh, you know get the the uh, armature started and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna do that now because I've got to wait for this uh, glue to uh, harden, and that's gonna take probably uh, several hours. And it's too late in the evening to uh, do anything about it now. I just wanted to make sure. my armature was straight up and down from every angle and uh it is uh, i just i don't want to have it slanting to one side is what i'm trying to say i'm not you sure what i'm going to be doing yet but uh i'll be thinking about that tonight oh good now i get this uh monster clay off of here so I can reuse it I love this stuff I mean it I love the texture of it I love the uh, feel of it I love how it uh, softens up and uh, and I like how it gets hard too and it just takes a little bit of heat to uh, soften it up a little bit so I may have to get my hair blower <laughs> in my studio so that uh, I can use it to soften the clay at times I think I'll save this uh, as my first attempt and uh, so anyway that's going to be it for today I'm just going to be softening up my vast amount of uh, monster clay that I've got here and uh, we'll see what we come up with I've got to determine the uh, size of uh, the bust that I'm going to make and uh, that's what it's going to be or it may not be I don't know I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And so, until I get that figured out, I'm just going to search old 
sculptures and paintings and get inspired. I can't believe all the monster clay that I've got in this box. It's just unbelievable. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Same time, same channel. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.